start by you introducing yourself mm -hmm. and telling us um, where we are and a little bit about what we're about to see. Okay. Uh, my name is Devendra Sharma and I'm a Nautanki artist. Uh, Nautanki is a folk musical theater form from uh, Northern India. In fact, before Bollywood, it was the most popular form of entertainment in Northern India. And I grew up with my father, uh, who is a legend of Nautanki. He's a living legend of Nautanki. And I grew up as a child, uh, performing with him, sitting on the stage with him. And so I, I learned a lot um, uh, when I was uh, uh, performing with my father. Uh, then I did my masters. Um, fortunately, we moved from a small town to the city because my father was invited to teach uh, folk theater in New Delhi, which is the capital of India. So I moved with him and then I um, got a formal education. I did my masters in television and films. And Oh, okay. Should I? Yeah, go ahead. It's fine. Um, we'll just start over. Oh, actually, the, oh, we'll be about just about four minutes. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, yeah, am I speaking too much or no, is it fine? fine? Yes. Okay. No. So can I continue yeah. from there? You can edit yeah. it, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so um, I have always been so interested in Nautanki. Um, uh, and I know that uh, from my childhood memories, my experiences with Nautanki, I know that it's a very powerful medium because it combines everything. It combines singing, it com combines um, um, percussion, acting, dances, everything. And it's, uh, it is so effective. Um, after I did my PhD in communication, I became a professor of communication and performance in California State University. Um, then, and before, even before that, I was a consultant to um, Johns Hopkins University and uh, United Nations and I used Nautanki uh, to give uh, social messages. So me with my father uh, wrote new scripts um, about issues such as population, environment, um, dowry in India, so all the contemporary issues. Uh, and. Um, through our research, uh, because since I had become professor, I could also do research with a U.S. university. And we found out that the Nautanki medium was a really powerful communication strategy to give these social messages. Um, that inspired me to write more Nautankis, more entertaining Nautankis about contemporary issues, even when I was not a consultant to any government or non-government organization. Uh, so. Uh, in 2000, uh, early 2009, uh, I saw uh, a newspaper article about how uh, young men who are working in the U.S. or who grew up in the U.S. under parental pressure uh, or because of some other reason, they go back to India and they get arranged marriage. Uh, uh, they, they, they wed uh, uh, young Indian women um, selected by their parents. Uh, after the wedding, many times what happens is these young men return to the U.S. Uh, to work and they never get their spouses uh, with them to the United States. And their wives are waiting for them uh, in, in, in India. And according to Indian Express, a newspaper, um, prominent newspaper in India, thousands of women are waiting uh, for their legitimate place with their husband in the United States. Uh, so that attracted my attention. And um, I talked to my father and we both uh, wrote a Nautanki about this issue. Uh, this issue was very relevant to me because I was living in the United States and also other diaspora living in the US. Also uh, many people in the, many people in India uh, because whose daughters were waiting uh, for their grooms to come back. I also found out that many times uh, these young men will take a lot of dowry. Um, sometimes as much as fifty thousand dollars and they will take the dowry and then they disappear but don't get me wrong not all people of course there are majority of young men are honest and they get their wives here uh, but few of them and when you uh, when you see the population of India which is more than one billion even if it if it is point zero 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 one percent it still turns into converts into a lot of numbers so we wrote the script and then I was thinking, um, how should I do it? Who can support us? 
And here comes the Counterpulse. And Counterpulse is an amazing organization because it supports this kind of alternative um, uh, art. Uh, it supports uh, artists who are not um, in the mainstream uh, or popular mainstream in the United States or who are trying to use traditions in a different way, in an innovative way. So this Nortanki does not is not about uh, the Nortanki I was just talking about, about the young men getting married in India. This Nortanki is not a traditional Nortanki which means it's not about mythological heroes or uh, you know kings or you know those kind of things which are pretty popular in traditional Nautankis, all those themes but it's a very new theme uh, and I applied for the Counterpulse grant and uh, they selected me and it has been a wonderful experience after that uh, they have been really supporting me at all levels uh, and it's a wonderful team of people um, it's not only about official grant and official work but it is also about how they sympathize and empathize with artists. Um, I think um, it's like a family in Counterpulse and I feel a part of the family. They have made me uh, feel um, as, a, as a member of the family and I, I really want to thank uh, Counterpulse uh, because of which I, I am able to produce my work and I am able to uh, bring this new contemporary Nortanki in front of um, audiences and in front of American audiences and in front of uh, South Asian diaspora, Indian diaspora in the Bay Area. I have made it bilingual uh, in Hindi and in English so that American audiences can also enjoy it.